been really great meeting everybody and, and receiving all the gifts for the dogs. Absolutely brilliant. We've been doing this 26 years and we feel as though we've struggled on, on our own for a long time, but suddenly people have realised that we're here and it's absolutely brilliant this year. Sadly, although the English are supposed to be a nation of animal lovers, we treat them almost as badly here as we, they're reputed to do in other countries. They're lovely. I blame people. I'd never blame a dog. I love the dogs, all of them, all shapes and sizes. They're not dogs with problems, they're dogs whose owners have let them down. When they're in the kennels they're more stressed because it's a small place and obviously people are not hands on them. It's like when they're out the kennels they've got more space, they can run around, they can do whatever they want. The ones that have been here for a while and they're brilliant with us, they might need a little bit of work in a new home, but they're brilliant with us and I think just give them a chance. Just try. A couple what have been handed over, so obviously they can't provide for the dogs or the dogs are too much for them, but most of our dogs are strays we found on the streets. And most of them, they come in like skinny, but you can see every single bone, but we get them fat so you can't see any of the bones. Well we've probably got about 60 to 70 dogs in at the moment. Um, at one point last year we had more than 80 and that went down to around 50 in the summer which was fantastic because then they all get more of a walk. Staffies have a bad reputation even though they're lovely family dogs. There are lots and lots of fantastic dogs here at the moment waiting for their new homes. Um, as you can hear, some of them in the background. would we'll just come out and actually ask for one. Don't judge the dog what it's like in the kennel, actually ask for it to be walked. Because when they're out, all they want to do is lick you to death. Far too many dogs are being bred. Far too many healthy dogs are being put to sleep year on year because there are not enough homes. We don't put any dogs to sleep, we'll keep them here indefinitely. But life in kennels is really inadequate in terms of what the dog needs, what would make it happy. But the alternative is, is as far as we're concerned, unthinkable. We've had a lot of dogs that have gone on to be working police dogs. We've had sniffer dogs. We've got two fire um, dogs which go out. If there's a fire, they go out to look for accelerants. They know when there's been arson and stuff like that which just goes to prove that dogs that turn up in stray dog pounds are not throwaway dogs they're not rubbish they have a purpose to fill if we can just find the right person for them one of the problems with such a big rescue is this is that we don't you know we, the dogs don't get enough walks because the staff don't have time to walk them all we need volunteers so we're always looking for volunteers to come they can come any day and walk the dogs and same these dog walkers that come here grateful for grateful to them and everybody that helps us, sponsors us, anything. Brilliant, thank you very much. We just like people to give the dogs a chance, you know, adopt instead of shopping. There'll be plenty of places where they can get new puppies at this time of year. The other advantage of course to having a rescue dog as opposed to a puppy is they don't, usually they don't need house training, they've learnt lots of things already, they walk nicely on the lead. As most of these dogs I've had dogs from here myself and they come home with you and they just settle in as if they've always been there um, and usually if there are any issues you can solve them really easily. The staff will always provide backup advice and help um, if people need any advice, if they need something that needs sorting with their new dog, some behaviour that they're not totally happy with. We don't want to be the last chance saloon, we're not a sanctuary as such, we want them going off to homes. Our Christmas wish is always a long line of empty kennels.